In this video, I will be addressing the question of why do young conservatives love Ben Shapiro? Uh, of course, there might be some young conservatives that don't love Ben Shapiro, but as a body, it seems like they do. Um, I believe the answer is that Shapiro plays the role of the guy that they would like to be. Um, the smart guy who says, well, actually, and humiliates his debating opponent. Um, Shapiro's supporters seem to feel humiliated by, for example, feminists, and they see Shapiro as humiliating them back, getting revenge, as it were. Ben Shapiro calls what he does debating. Um, the relationship between what Ben Shapiro does and debating is somewhat similar to the relationship between professional wrestling and wrestling. Shapiro tends to pick soft targets to debate against, and the rules of debating aren't followed, so Shapiro can talk over people and gish gallop, which is a particular technique that he's associated with where you list point after point after point so much so that the opponent is unable to uh, rebut everything you've said in the time that they had. And most importantly, there isn't any neutral moderator or judge. This became obvious, I think, when Shapiro was interviewed by a fellow conservative right-wing British journalist Andrew Neil. Uh, that interview is online and I've linked to it in the description and of course I would encourage everyone to look at that so that they can know what I'm talking about. If you haven't already, it did go viral and so it's quite likely that you've seen it before. Shapiro seemed quite shocked and offended that Neil took the usual journalistic approach of describing a position contrary to Shapiro's in the expectation that Shapiro would argue against this position. Shapiro also seemed to see Neil quoting things that Shapiro had said in the past as some sort of underhanded trick. He took all of this as evidence that Neil and the BBC in general were out to get him, and he cut the interview short. In reality, of course, they weren't out to get him. They were simply interviewing him in the same way that they would interview any other person. Shapiro later described this as a debate which he lost. And I think that's important because it wasn't a debate. It wasn't a debate at all. It was a perfectly normal interview. In other words, Ben Shapiro doesn't know what a debate is, or at least he believes that his fans as a body won't know what a debate is. And if that is his belief, he seems to be correct, because none of this seems to have affected Shapiro's fans' admiration for him. People who didn't like Ben Shapiro passed the video around. As I said, it became viral, but it didn't seem to have any impact on how his fans felt, um, which makes me think that in general, I don't think Shapiro's fans really know or care that an interview is not a debate or that misunderstanding how interviews work isn't the same thing as engaging in a debate and losing that debate, or that an edited highlight reel of Shapiro talking over a college student is not Ben Shapiro destroys liberalism, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. If you've ever looked for videos online about Ben Shapiro, you find a lot of destroys in capital letters, which often when you watch them, it doesn't really seem like he's destroying them. It seems like he's just talking over them. But as I say, his fans apparently don't either don't know or don't care about the difference. Shapiro plays the role of a smart guy, and that's enough for them. And that, I think, is the basic answer as to why young conservatives love Ben Shapiro.